You want to know the real difference between us? Let me see. I know how to fence and you don't. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie twins that were actually portrayed by one person. Who are you? Lady Margaret Delacourt, Duchess Montanaro. For this list, we'll be looking at actors who took on roles of identical twins in films. We'll be excluding characters with multiple personalities and clones. Since some of the twins on this list are big plot reveals, a spoiler warning is now in effect. What actor do you think played the best twins? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Vanessa Hudgens, the Princess Switch franchise. I am so sorry. No problem. In a twist on the classic tale of The Prince and the Pauper, Vanessa Hudgens stars as Lady Margaret Delacourt, Duchess of Montanaro, and Stacey DeNovo, a baker from Chicago. Stacey and her fellow baker friend Kevin travel to the fictional country of Belgravia for a baking competition. There, the two literally run into each other. They make the switch, curious how the other lives. Margaret falls in love with Kevin and Stacy with Edward. In the sequel, Hudgens plays Margaret's cousin, Lady Fiona Pembroke. Fiona was so much fun to create because I was like, she needs to be different. I want her to be super over the top. Wanting to get in on the fun, Fiona plans a switch of her own to get the crown for herself. If Betty Crocker from Belgravic pulled the switch, why can't I? Number nine, Betty Davis, Dead Ringer. You're not seeing a ghost, Janet. This is my twin sister, Edith. After the funeral of her husband, Frank, Margaret Delorca sees her twin sister, Edith Phillips. The two have been estranged for 18 years because they both loved the same man. We're sisters. So we are. And to hell with you. Margaret is wealthy, while Edith is much less fortunate. Edith murders her sister, taking over her life as revenge. The usual. The usual. However, things don't go as smoothly as she hoped. She learns of Margaret's own crimes and deception, and ultimately ends up paying for them herself. Dead Ringer is the second time Davis performed a dual role, having played twins in A Stolen Life. The gang's all there. You're not trying to get rid of me, are you? Number eight, Bette Midler and Lily Tomlin. Big business. What happened? Oh, we broke up. <coughs> Good riddance. Loosely based on William Shakespeare's The Comedy of Errors, this wacky 1988 comedy follows two sets of identical twins as they discover they were mistakenly switched at birth with another set of twins. Midler plays twins Sadie Shelton and Sadie Ratliff, while Lily Tomlin plays Rose Shelton and Rose Ratliff. That's right, each set of twins has the same name as the other. The Shelton sisters grow up wealthy, eventually becoming co-chairs of a successful conglomerate in New York City. The Ratliffs, on the other hand, led a rural, impoverished life. All four of them run into each other in the big city, and hilarity ensues. <laughs> You just get out of here! <laughs> Number seven, Paul Dano. There will be blood. Do you think God is going to save you for being stupid? In this epic period drama, Paul Dano plays twin brothers Paul and Eli Sunday. Paul comes to visit Daniel Plainview, telling him about the oil under his land back in California. Eli is the dramatic preacher at the Church of the Third Revelation who spends more time with Plainview. The twins don't have scenes together and Paul's role is much smaller. However, Dano's powerful performance earned him a BAFTA nomination. But the third revelation is your spiritual guide! <laughs> Dana also had the pleasure of being opposite Daniel Day-Lewis for the memorable I drink your milkshake scene. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. Number six, Nicolas Cage, adaptation. The script I'm starting, it's about flowers. Oh. Nobody's ever done a movie about flowers before. Nicolas Cage plays the neurotic Charlie Kaufman in this critically acclaimed comedy drama. Kaufman gets writer's block when he's tasked with writing a screenplay based on Susan Orlean's novel The Orchid Thief. His freeloading brother Donald, also played by Cage, moves in with him and decides to become a screenwriter himself. Imagine me and you, 
I do. Come on. I think about you day and night. It's only right. Come on, sing with me. The two end up on a crazy, thought-provoking journey of obsession and success. Adaptation is based on the real Charlie Kaufman and his own experience struggling to adapt Orlean's non-fiction book. Instead, he wrote the screenplay for this film, creating a fictionalized twin brother and exaggerating the events significantly. And if I got out of bed on that side and I was in a good mood, I said, let's start with Donald today. And if I woke up the next day and I got out of bed on that side and I was in a bad mood and cranky, I said, let's, let's start with Charlie today. Number five, Jeremy Irons, Dead Ringers. So, when are you going to see her again? She's called the clinic five times already. I don't know. Widely considered one of the best psychological thrillers of all time, Jeremy Irons stars as twin brothers who are gynaecologists. Elliot is the more confident of the two, regularly seducing his patients. When he's tired of them, he passes them off to his shy brother, Beverly. After Elliot seduces actress Claire, Beverly falls in love with her, becoming completely emotionally attached. This is my brother Elliot. Hi, Claire. I hope Bev's told you what a big fan I am of your movies. This throws off the brothers' dynamic, leading them to depression and drug addiction. It's an unsettling thriller with plenty of nightmarish imagery. Irons played equally creepy yet unique characters. So I muddled up all the clothes and tried to make the makeup the same and that sort of thing, um, and found an internal way to make them different. Number four, Christian Bale, The Prestige. Between Christopher Nolan's Batman Begins and The Dark Knight, he worked with Christian Bale on this thrilling film about rival stage magicians in 19th century London. Was it good? It was the greatest magic trick I've ever seen. The biggest trick, of course, is that Alfred Borden and his mysterious assistant, Bernard Fallon, are actually identical twins, both played by Bale. Switching places is something they've done all their lives. Bale is known for being an intense and fiercely committed actor. His ability to keep us guessing until the very end makes The Prestige one of Nolan's best films ever. Number three, Tom Hardy, Legend. Until he turns around, you know what he says? He says, Oh, what? Did you find some ice sauce? I've got, I've got no appetite for it. Interesting. Based on the true story of the infamous Cray brothers, legend follows the rise and fall of twins Ronnie and Reggie as they rule over most of London's criminal underground in the 1950s and 60s. She knows too many things about us. She knows too many things about us. With a background in amateur boxing, both have a penchant for violence, getting into several brutal fights with rival criminals and each other. <laughs> Tom Hardy is able to capture the nuances of each brother, the explosive Ronnie and the cool Reggie. Playing one ruthless gangster is hard enough, but two? Hardy was definitely the man for the job. There were so many opportunities there to see behind the curtain that that is the same person. Number two, Leonardo DiCaprio, the man in the Iron Mask. The greatest mystery of life is who we truly are. Yes. Though the true identity of the real man in the Iron Mask is still debated, the film of the same name attempts to put a face to the mysterious prisoner. He was imprisoned in France for decades under the rule of Louis XIV, a cruel, hedonistic king. Do you love any of them? Quite frequently, actually. In the film, the legendary Four Musketeers secretly release the prisoner and in the process discover that he is Louis' identical twin brother, Philippe. He is my brother. Brother. My twin. My blood. Their plan is to swap out the twins, both played by Leonardo DiCaprio, imprisoning Louis, making Philippe the new heir to the throne. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Lindsay Lohan, The Parent Trap. All right, girls, shake hands. Come on, girls. 
In one of her most celebrated roles, a young Lindsay Lohan plays 11-year-old estranged twins Annie and Hallie in the 1998 remake of The Parent Trap. Golly, sisters! While Hayley Mills' dual role as the twins in the 1961 flick will undoubtedly bring back fond memories, we're choosing Lohan's later portrayal because it introduced us to the young star. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll make you a little deal. Loser jumps into the lake after the game. Excellent. In the Disney flick, the two meet at a summer camp and are instant adversaries until they realize they are actually sisters. Like all of the twins on this list, they switch places. They each connect with their long lost parents and conspire to get them back together. The cast of this beloved family classic reunited in 2020 for the film's 22nd anniversary. Hi everyone, I'm Katie and I'm here to be your moderator. Yeah, good luck Katie, by the way. Lohan's co-stars still praise her convincing performance as the twins. So if, if your mom is my mom and my dad is your dad and we're both born on October 11th, then you and I are like, like sisters. <laughs> sisters. Hallie, we're like twins. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.